I'm going to show you how to set up the uh, GoDaddy email address and we're going to set up a regular inbox and also a forwarding and we're going to talk about the catch-all. So the first step is to sign in to your GoDaddy account. So you should be signed in when you get here. You're going to click on your name up in the top right hand corner and you're going to click visit my account. Now this is going to be all the products that you have that you're going to see here. Some of them are free products so they won't actually be a product that you have so you want to be careful what you do see in here, but the main one we're going to go to is Workspace Email. The new version of GoDaddy Email, the one that they're actually um, pushing more nowadays is the Office 365, which allows you to integrate with uh, Microsoft Outlook. Um, you can still set it up using this version, but this gives you a better interface also on your devices and things like that. So that'll be covered in a different video, but in this case, this we're using Workspace Email and that's what this domain name is set up under. So we're gonna to go to Workspace Email and we're gonna click on Manage. So this should bring you to this screen. It's gonna show you any current emails that you already have set up. For any current emails that you have, if you wanna delete them, all you have to do is come over here, and actually you'll see as I mouse over, it gives me the option. But you come over here and you can click Edit to change, for instance, the password for that account. You can add more space to that account, you can make it the catch-all, you can forward it to somebody, um, you can enable the spam filter, and you can also enable auto replies. If you want to make changes, that's what you're going to do here. If you want to delete it, you can just simply click delete, and if you want to switch it to a different plan, the Office 365 for instance, you can switch it right here. So this tells you, for instance, a little bit about this account. Right now it has 1.5 megabytes of email in this account that's being used of space. If it fills up to the complete amount, like for instance this one, then anything sent to that will get kicked back to the person that sent the email as undeliverable because the inbox is full. So this one we might want to uh, change and add more space to it, for instance. So I'm going to go and up here, I'm going to start by creating a new email. So I'm going to create. And we're going to type in the email address that we want to create. Put an at symbol and it'll show you the domains available. So click the domain name. Type in your password. Type it in again. Then you're going to come down, you're going to click show additional options. Now down here, you're going to leave this alone, the plan. You're going to change the quota to whatever you want. So I'm just going to change it to eight. I only have 28 megabytes available on this plan. So I want to make it a lower amount. You could add it to the catch all if you want. I'm not going to. If you want to send a copy, you can send a copy. Um, this is not going to, if you send a copy to a different email, let's say your personal email or another email inbox that you've created, this isn't going to stop this inbox from filling up. If somebody sends it, it'll still be available on the inbox. So you will have to go clean this inbox out from time to time. You can't just get it at that other email and use it. The main inbox is for using an email that you're creating that you can send from and reply to. So we're not going to send a copy. I'm going to uncheck spam filter because I'm not, that's something that will actually stop certain emails from coming in depending on what they think is spam or not. Occasionally it blocks emails that you don't want to get put into spam. So unless you're checking you're checking this email using the GoDaddy inbox, which I'll show you how to do that in a minute, and you're not setting it up inside your Gmail or your Outlook or anything, then you want your Gmail or your Outlook to be the spam filter. So and now I'm gonna click I agree and I'm gonna create. Okay. When it's done, you should get this message saying congratulations, it's been set up. And what you can do to make it easy for the person that has this inbox is choose to send the instructions on how they can set their account up to their direct email, their personal email, and they'll get that directly there. So I'm gonna click on send and it will send them the email. So that's how you're going to set up a regular email. Now, there is gonna be one box that's going to be the catch-all. In this case, it is the info at, and I can tell because it has this little box next to it. This email is set up as a forwarding email, so if anybody emails info at King's Chapel Life, there is no box associated with it. There's no actual inbox that you have to check or do anything from. That also means that you can't send an email from info at King's Chapel Life. 
it only basically is a forwarding email that's set up to go to specific people. So it is the catch-all. If somebody were to email somebody's, uh, let's say somebody emailed Martha at kingschapellife.com. We don't have Martha set up, so it would automatically go to info, in which case it would forward to a different email because this is a forwarding email. So this is the catch-all. That's what this is for. And you can set up any of these one inboxes to be the catch-all, but only one can be the catch-all. So in this case, it's the info. If you want to change it, you simply are going to go to any email that you want, click on edit, and change it to be the catch-all by checking this box and saving. Now the other way that we can, another thing that we can do is we can set up a forwarding account. So if you want to create a forward, you click on create forward. Forwards can be used for lots of different reasons. I believe you get unlimited forwarding account. You don't need any space for a forwarding account. So they're great to use for temporary reasons or to create a special email like sales at or weddings at or um, anything else that you want to do, director at, help at, support at, so that you can have that email to be able to be used and then it forwards to another email but when you get it in your other email inbox you know where it came from so you can designate what to do with it or you can set up a filter. If an email comes from sales at then it should go into this folder or it should be auto responded to or something like that. So for, an, uh, for this I might set up a special email called calendar at and I'm going to choose my email and then maybe I want it to forward to Lori at and I could put a personal email in I could put any email in here so I'm going to do this one it's free email free, leave this plan along and I could make it the catch-all just like the info is but I'm not and I could even enable an auto reply if I wanted to um, set up the frequency I could reply from Lori at Kings Chapel or I could reply from calendar at and then I can even send a message thank you for your inquiry or thank you for submitting a new event or whatever it is I want and then I can click create so I'm going to take the auto reply off because I don't want to use it in this case and I'm going to create and then in that case Lori has a second email that she can use that's specifically for the calendar that she can set up in any way that she wants and if somebody emails it it automatically will go to her e email now, how do you log into one of these inboxes? So Lori would have gotten a setup email that shows her how to do this, but in this case, you can actually come in here and you can click on launch and it's gonna launch that email inbox for me, sign me right in. The email that I would do, I would at this point, this is the uh, URL that you're gonna wanna bookmark because if you're gonna sign into this webmail, which is where you are going to log in to be able to manage this inbox, and you're, let's say you're not going to use it on your Microsoft Outlook, you're not going to set it up in your Gmail account, um, you want to strictly use it to access it online, then you're going to go ahead and bookmark email 22godaddycom slash webmail.php. When you go there, it's going to ask you to log in. You're going to log in with your email, lori at kingschapellife.com, and your password, and it'll bring you right to this inbox. So inside the inbox, you have it acts just like an Outlook inbox. You can reply to things. You can compose a new email, you can forward emails, you can delete it, you can um, put things in your trash, you can create multiple folders. It's going to show you your storage usage. If you get up to the end of your storage usage, you want to make sure you're deleting old emails so they don't continue to fill up. If somebody sends you a file and attachments that, that is above your storage us usage, like in this case it is going to be 8 megabytes, so if somebody sends you a 10 megabyte file, it's going to get kicked back to them as undeliverable because you don't have that much space in this inbox. So keep that in mind. Uh, you can create email templates to auto reply or to use as uh, an email that you send frequently. Um, you have an address book here. You have your settings. So you can you know go to your personal settings, for instance, and you can change your password here. Um, you can add a signature file in here. You can set up an auto reply so that every time somebody emails you, you get an auto reply, all those things. You also have your tools section. If you go to your tools section, go to the email setup center. This is going to tell you the settings that you need in order to set this up in Outlook or elsewhere. You can set it up on your phone, on your devices, things like that, and you'll need these settings to do that. Um, and you also need your username, which is your email, and the password that you were set up for. So that's it. That's how you're going to access and create uh, emails inside GoDaddy. 
And if you have any questions, please email us at help at yoursiteneedsme.com.